Previously, you've seen us ride the pure EV e Pluto 7G, and that was a proper full fledged scooter. But what if you don't want to spend that much cash on an EV scooter and you want to save a little uh, money and probably get something that's a little bit more easy going and easier to ride? just for something going around town, around the block to just do your daily errands. Well, I think the e-trans Neo Plus is one of the best ways to get around town while being pocket friendly and of course having loads of range. So I'm going to be doing a range test today and let's see how it performs. Now before we get on to the journey, let me just quickly tell you some things about the e-trans Neo. So if you pop open the boot of the scooter, you can see that there is a battery kept over there. Now this being the plus model, you get a 3 kilowatt hour battery compared to a 2.4 kilowatt hour battery in the normal e-trans Neo. And that of course helps it get a little bit more range out of the tank. So this scooter is capable of doing anywhere between 131 kilometers to 171 kilometers uh, on a full charge. Now currently it's not on a full charge. Uh, but the normal e-trans Neo also is pretty impressive, anywhere between 111 to 151 kilometers on a full charge. So let's shut the seat of the bike and let's hop on and see where we go today. Since we were really hungry, we decided to go to a mall nearby that was 8 kilometers away to grab a quick bite before we hit the road again. So we're just done with lunch, now we're gonna head to this place called Malangad which is roughly 18 to 20 kilometers away from the place we are right now. Uh, scooter is performing perfectly fine, we've only ridden it 13 kilometers uh, and we still have the same amount of charge that we left uh, from the place that we started. So I think so it's gonna reach very easily considering that this is the plus. We have like roughly, let's say, an average of about 150 kilometers of range. So this journey is going to be done with absolute ease, even with four uh, bars of charge. So let's head on and go to Malangad. After what was roughly a 30 minute ride, we finally reached Malangad. That thing over there, that sharp looking boulder on top is basically Malangad. Looks absolutely stunning. And the thing is, 30 minutes away from Dombuli, you have some amazing roads with some amazing scenery. I was definitely not expecting this, but uh, this pure EV e-trans Neo Plus has been a very nice companion on this journey. I mean, a lot of the newer EVs, you know, just because they want to uh, get some sort of emotion out of the rider, they have some sort of weird whirring noises, or you know, some sort of a noise, but this thing is dead silent. And I actually enjoy that because I don't want fake noises from my EV. So uh, it's been a really good journey. I've covered, let's see. 34 kilometers in total. Uh, till now and yeah it's been very 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 comfortable the suspension on this thing is actually very comfortable i don't think i've ridden a scooter with such a comfortable suspension yet uh, let's quickly talk about the look so it's a very compact scooter as you can see it's uh, you know very easy to ride very compact very nimble on its feet i think so it weighs less than 100 kilos in my opinion 
uh, if I'm wrong, this is the actual weight of the uh, scooter. But it's a very comfortable bike, like I said. It eats up bumps, potholes, bad undulations on the road with utter ease. The brakes are also very, very nice. They have a very gradual bite to them. And overall, you know, like I said, it's not supposed to be doing what I just did. But if you want to do it, it definitely can do it. And you can definitely see some inspiration from other scooters over the years. Uh, predominantly the Scooty Pep. I think so that was the main inspiration for this scooter. And it's very short, compact and like I said, easy to ride. So let me just take in some of the scenery a little bit more. And after that, we'll head back to the Pure EV service center to drop this thing off. And in the end, let's see how much range we've taken up and uh, how much we've ridden the scooter. Pure EV e-trans Neo Plus also gets some really useful features such as downhill assist, hill start assist, reverse mode, Bluetooth connectivity and it also gets smart AI for better battery life. The e-trans Neo Plus for riding daily in the city is in my opinion one of the best scooters you can get on the market currently. Priced at a competitive 93,999 rupees ex showroom, it undercuts almost all of its competition in the EV scooter market. The Pure EV e-trans also gets three different riding modes. Mode 1 is mainly for city use and has a top speed limit of 30 kph. Mode 2 takes that limit to 40 kph and in Mode 3, you can reach the top speed of the e-trans at 63 kph. So we're basically back at the place that we started. The starting point was just around the block over here. And this has been a really enjoyable journey with the e-trans Neo Plus. It's been a great companion. The suspension is very comfy, very plush, uh, you know, it's uh, very easy to ride because of its compact dimensions, very nimble on its feet. And it's honestly been a very impressive motorcycle to ride. Uh, uh, let's just check how much we've ridden. So when we took the bike from the Pure EV service center, it had only run three kilometers and now the odometer reading is 53 kilometers and it has plenty of juice to go for another, I guess, 10, 15 kilometers if you want. And mind you, we didn't get it on a full charge as well. So yeah, this has been a really cool bike to ride and I would definitely recommend you to check out Pure EV and their products because they have some really cool stuff lying around. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you liked the Pure EV e-trans Neo Plus. If you did, comment down below what you think of it and why you like it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.